Okay, here's the mechanism of the directable flap of the draw box. Let me show you how it looks like inside. Actually, I made a couple of trials using pattern paper and magazine paper before it was successful. And uh, this one was unsuccessful, so you forget about the magazine paper. I just want to show you how I made the slit. Um, first of all, you make a slit on each side. And uh, uh, for this one, I made it uh, down from the bottom of the box, and uh, uh, the side will come out, uh, will, will, will stick out will, uh, easily, so it doesn't look nice. So uh, this one was unsuccessful. And uh, for this one, I started the, um, the, the slit here. Actually, you can even move it up here. Okay, and uh, the length of the slit is exactly the height of the box and in this case it is one and a half inch and I made uh, a hair's width of the slit that means I had to have um, enough space for the flap to move comfortably inside otherwise it will be torn easily so I may use an exacto knife to cut uh, to make one cut and then at his width apart I made another cut also the same length and then I took away the um, the very thin strip and then I made this flap and it should actually is a rectangular piece of paper and the width of the paper is the width of the box plus two times the height of the box so I uh, the height of the box I made a score line, the width of the box, another score line, and this is the height of the box again. And uh, down one inch from the bottom, I made a cut to the score line, and then fold this over. And this part, I will glue it, the whole piece down to the box, so that uh, the flap won't, won't come out or move around. And then uh, I fold over this part, and uh, and then uh, also uh, the height of the box. I made another cut down to the score line again, and uh, then uh, a square piece of paper will be left, and uh, I round off the corner using a double-sided tape, uh, uh, the, you know, the, the, the circular shape. Actually, you can use anything that is uh, circular shaped. And then cut it off, cut, cut off the corner, and then um, I glue these two pieces together. And uh, remember, don't uh, cut away this corner because it's very important. It is a guard or stopper. To stop, uh, to to prevent the flap from coming out. You see, um, it is round, so it can move easily. But down to here, the stick out piece will stop it from further coming out. And uh, you can try a, a shorter length so that uh, the flap can stand out more. But stand up more. But uh, I tried uh, a shorter length. But I found that uh, when I, you know, flip up the flap, uh, it will come out uh, very easily. So I think this is a safe length. Well, one inch, one one inch uh, length is a safe length. Okay, and um, so uh, for the for this piece, I also fold it over and uh, glue it down. Um, and uh, for for this one, I also glued another piece of paper to further strengthen this corner because it would be uh, uh, it it would tear easily if you, you know uh, move the flap uh, often. And um, remember, this uh, will be glued down to the glued down to the box. 
oh, I forgot to tell you about the length. Uh, it, it depends on how long you want the flap to be. And uh, in this case, I made it longer than the legs so that uh, it can back up uh, the door stamp pro properly. Otherwise, it, it will be bent here. And uh, I hope I have explained it clearly. If you have any question, you can ask me. And I hope you like my sharing. Thanks for watching. Bye.